Hey guys, this is another quick video, uh, kind of a continuation of the previous video I, I posted. This is the Yeti, uh, the Goal Zero Yeti 400 uh, electric generator, solar generator, uh, and I've got two uh, 12 volt, 35 amp hour batteries in the toolbox that are connected uh, to the side of the Yeti 400, um, which automatically comes with uh, two Anderson 45 amp power poles on the side here. So it's, uh, so now I've got uh, see the the wattage for the Yeti battery is 396. So times that by three is what you know, almost 1,200 watt hours of uh, of power. Does not increase the amperage though. Once you connect the batteries together, it's in I believe parallel. Uh, I might have gotten that wrong, but uh, anyway, it does not increase the amperage. It just increases your watt hour running time of the battery. So. And this is the uh, show you how I got set up here. You know, fairly easy to to wheel and roll around. Um, want something like I say, I'm just throwing it back on my truck when it's in storage. This whole thing just collapses down. I put a wood block behind here just to just as a kind of a, a blocking so the battery doesn't flop back at all. Anyways, so. During the week, um, you know, I charge up electrically, uh, connected to the, you know, my power strip in the back of my workbench. But uh, on the weekends, a nice sunny weekends, I just put, my, take my solar panels off my wall, which I use for decoration inside the man cave for now. And that's 120 watts of power. And a good sunny day when it's all plugged in, I get about 75, 80 watts. So you never get the full wattage of a of a, a solar panel because it's all the testing is done in a laboratory and it's perfect condition so anyways uh last weekend i charged a battery up uh it was down about 50 percent and it took me about four hours to charge it up which is pretty good it's free power can't complain so right now it's just in my man cave as a decoration but i do want to build a, a faraday cage of some sort for this little contraption here uh just in case you get an emp or solar flare you never know all the money i spent you know <laughs> creating buying the goal zero and batteries and all that it's just be kind of a waste of money to have it destroyed by an emp so that might be another another video i did however uh do a uh, faraday cage for my safe here let's just get this open so i pretty much um got um metal aluminum tape aluminum duct tape so to speak and some uh some door sealant weather stripping Put it on the inside and the outside so that when it, when it's closed uh, i get good metal to metal contact on uh on the on the on the, the door jam so pretty much um uh, fairly easy job and it works too uh when it when it closes you know it's a little it seals up pretty good i put a radio in there and um doesn't get any any reception so uh, better than nothing. That's all I gotta say. At least I get some protection. But anyways, that's a separate video. So here's the uh, Yeti 400 on steroids. <laughs> uh, you can hook up. Like I said, th these are two additional batteries hooked up to the Yeti. You can hook up three. Uh, that's uh, maybe some other time. But obviously, you have to get a bigger battery box. Might have to use something. You know, like this old bad boy there. If I wanted to do that, because it's obviously going to take up uh, more battery space and, and more time. I might use this thing to to uh, make another solar generator uh, by you know getting the solar charger and the, uh, the inverter and getting three deep cell marine batteries. But another project. But anyways, there it is. Goal Zero 400 with additional batteries. Hope this is helpful. If it was, leave a comment. If you got any questions? Uh, leave a comment. Um, God bless. Take care.